John chapter 3 and verse 16. The most favorite scripture, famous, well-known scripture in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You don't believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, for everlasting life. You don't believe on him. Pardon me. Okay, and we are back, and we are back. You don't believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, for everlasting life. You don't believe him. Here is, here is why, let me show you why you don't believe him. Go to John, I'm, I'm sorry, Luke chapter six, at, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> at verse 46. This is what Jesus Christ, the Son of God said. Here's why you don't believe him. 646. And why this Jesus talking to you? Oh my God today. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I said? You ain't doing what you said, do. Whosoever cometh to me and hearing my sayings. And do it them. I will show you who he is like. All right, go to John. Uh 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 14. John 14. And this is gonna be a show. I believe it's gonna be a show video. <laughs> Glory to God. John 14, and let's look at verse, I'm sorry, John 15, in verse 14, ye are my friends if you do whatever I command you. You got to do everything Jesus said. All right. John 3 and 16. Oh, yeah. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him. Do you believe in Jesus? Let me show you where you don't. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him may be saved. You, do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Do you believe that he died and rose again? Do you confess him as Savior? You believe in your heart that God raised from the dead? Do you really? Let's show you where you don't. Verse 18, read with me. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already. You don't believe Jesus? You condemned already. You condemned. He said you condemned. You don't believe him? You condemned right now. Let's get some. Let's read. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You say Jesus is God, you don't believe. You say Jesus is not the Son of God, you don't believe. You say Jesus is the Father, you don't believe. Jesus is the Holy Ghost, you don't believe. And this is the condemned. Read with me. We're in verse 19 now in the third chapter of John. And this is the condemned thing that light is coming to the world, and men love the darkness rather than light. 
because their deeds are evil. Your deeds evil, your wax evil. How you say when you got evil wax and sinful wax? Everyone that doeth evil hate the light. You're sinning, you hate the light. Cause sin is darkness, and sin is of the devil. Everyone doeth evil hateth the light. You ain't find Jesus doing evil. Neither come into the light. You didn't come to Jesus. Lest indeed you'll be reproved. When you come to Christ, sincerely to be saved, your deeds will be reproved. Unless you like that rich young ruler who Jesus told him what he must do to be saved, keep the commandment, say what to have, give to the poor, come follow me. That man walked away sorrowful. All right. You don't believe Jesus. You don't believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. You don't do what he told you to do. Mark chapter 1, verse 15, he came preaching repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He told the woman of the dirty and the man by the pool of you too, go sin no more. John 8, begin read with 31. And read on down to 38. I think gave you the scripture. Everyone, hallelujah, praise God. He that commits sin is a servant of sin. You ain't serving Jesus, you serving sin. You commit sin, you serving sin. You serve your father, the devil. You serve your pastor. You ain't serving Jesus, sin, and no, you ain't. John 8. 31 to 38. He that commits sin is the servant of sin. But he who the Son shall free and free indeed. Christ will free you from being a servant of sin. A servant of the devil. To serve him. He'll take away all your sin. He'll give you his spirit. He'll give you his nature. He'll wash all your sin away. He'll give you his word and his spirit. That will lead you to do his will and not the devil's will. He'll give you his spirit. He'll make you a new creature. He'll make you a disciple of him. Not human nature. You got to do what Jesus said do. Now he said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. And you better repent now. I repent of all your sin. Repent for not following him. You're sinning, you're not following him. You got to repent of that, and you come follow him. Keep his commandments. All right, that's enough. Hmm. I feel the Holy Ghost. All right, let's leave it there. God bless you. Thank all you for it. Hallelujah. Repent before him will last too late. In the seventh chapter of Matthew, Jesus said that day, men are going to say, Lord, Lord, didn't we do this in your name and do all this stuff? Jesus going to say, depart me, you didn't you that work iniquity. Jesus went further on to say, in the same chapter of Matthew, not everyone to say, Lord, Lord, that shall enter in, but he to do the will of my father, not the will of the devil, but the will of my father. Repent before it's too late. Obey Jesus, follow Jesus. Thank you for viewing. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah.